Hi everyone, this is Kareen from Kareen's VSG. And um, I just thought I'd do a video today to, um, to say how great this community is that um, the weight loss community is. is. Um, last week, Lisa from Mini Me in Tennessee, sorry, I'm trying to get my things straightened out here, posted a video um, asking for prayers for me and my daughter. And, um, and as a result, um, then, um, asking if people would support me on my YouTube channel. And I have to say, I never, never expected anyone to do that for me. I was completely shocked. Um, I sat here watching the video that Lisa put out and just sobbing because nobody's ever done anything like that for me. And so, um, I was just so blessed and my two daughters who um, watched the video also were just like flabbergasted and just amazed and um, I just can't thank you enough Lisa I just can't thank you enough it was a beautiful gesture on your part one that was never expected but more than anything I, I appreciate having all of the new followers and um, the prayers that people Put out were way more important to me than having extra numbers on my following channel if you understand what I mean I I absolutely adore that that I have more followers now but I coveted your prayers so much um, this is going to be a very very hard journey that we're on and my daughter is handling it with such grace and with such um, strength that she kind of gives me strength but more than any of that is the fact that we are fully relying on Jesus Christ to reverse and and dissolve this disease if he can cure leprosy if he can if he can cure the woman with the issue of, from tw of 12 years if he can cure the blind man then he can do this also. And um, we truly believe that he has not stopped doing miracles. And so we are just praying for that miracle. We are not sitting by idly though. We are doing what we need to do to, um, to fight this battle as, as hard as we can. So I just want to really, really thank you, Lisa, and all of those I can't I don't even know how many people I have on my on my account right now but I had 91 the day that Lisa posted that and as of today I have 194 so that's 103 people that decided to um, like my channel and follow me and subscribe to me that I did not have a week ago and so I am just completely uh, I I don't know what to say I'm just completely thankful to every single one of you. And those of you who have followed me for the last three years, four years, it, my four year anniversary is coming up this, yeah, <laughs> this May 4th is my four year anniversary. So, oh, don't mind my clock. I have a clock that's got bird sounds on it and it's 10 o'clock right now. Uh, anyway, those people who have followed me over these four years, I so appreciate you and your support and your comments to me and checking in on me. Dee, I really want to uh, thank you for checking in on me, even though I wasn't on YouTube, um, finding me and checking in on me. That really, really meant a lot to me. So I just wanted to say this is a huge thank you to all of you who are supportive of not only myself, but of Lisa and all of the other people who are on this journey of weight loss. Um, uh, I did have something happen this week that I didn't expect, um, Saturday and Sunday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, I was experiencing some weird symptoms, <clears throat> sorry, some weird symptoms of, um, tingling in my foot. And because of my strong family history of diabetes and neuropathy, my first thought was it's neuropathy and that I have neuropathy because I've literally the last couple months I've done nothing but eat garbage garbage I mean I'm getting my vegetables in but I've been eating garbage I'm not I've never been a person who eat, eat, eats ice cream every day and I'll tell you this ice cream 
even when I eat it, it makes my stomach hurt. And you know what? I still end up eating it. So I've been eating garbage. And so um, I started getting this, this burning on my, my second toe on my right foot. And it, it's kind of worked up onto my foot um, where I was getting a, like a burning sensation. And then it was kind of itchy and tingly. And, and then it started working up my leg. And then it was like on my thigh and then it started on my arm and I'm thinking, am I having a heart attack or am I having, or is it neuropathy? Did I get diabetes because I haven't been eating good? All of this stuff. And of course my mind is going crazy and I'm thinking of this stuff and it's a weekend. So I can't like run into the doctor and find out what's going on. So I made an appointment uh, for Monday at four o'clock and I went in and the doctor just looked at me and says, all of your stuff is, your stats are excellent. Your every, your levels are all excellent. You're everything. He said, so he says, this is not neuropathy. Neuropathy starts small and doesn't spread quickly like you've been experiencing. And so the only thing that he could attribute it to was stress. And I guess that stress can cause this kind of symptom. And I guess I've been stressed. I can't imagine why. Um, COVID for a year, uh, a political system in our government that is like the craziest thing I've ever seen. Events in January that have never been happening before that put stress on all Americans, not just myself. But I literally had checked into the, um, the, the January 6th thing mainly because I'd never watched him do that. And so I was not expecting what I saw and I was so totally shocked. And I was so totally devastated. I have been in the Capitol building. When you step in those doors, it is like a temple, even though I don't like to equate it to that. But it is, it is, there is a reverence there that you should hold when you walk inside those halls. And I was, when I was there, I definitely felt that. And to see it be desecrated in the way it was desecrated just was devastating to me. So then I just kind of got caught up in watching the news, which we hadn't watched for years. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Anyway, to see that happen was just devastating to me. And I just kept watching it and it kept happening. And oh, my goodness, oh my goodness I got to sneeze all of a sudden. Sorry about that. Um, I don't like to chop and stuff on my, my video. So maybe if I take a drink. So anyway, it was all devastating to me and to see where our country was headed and the hate and the division and, and the obstructionism and the, we're, we're better than you and you're worse than we are. And, and then, and then, and then. It, to me, it was like, oh my gosh, I felt like I was sitting in an elementary classroom where the kids hadn't learned how to behave yet. And so all of this stuff has been on me. And then my daughter gets diagnosed with cancer in January. Oh, Sorry, this is my nose doing this. And so, <clears throat> oh, goodness sakes. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, all of this was coming at the same time. And um, that is stressful on my body. And I was taking too much of it. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. I was taking too much of it into myself. And so... Um, I think it just all piled up onto me. And so now I really have to stop and I have to think about what I'm doing and concentrate. Okay, I'm back. Oh my goodness, I got in a sneezing fit. It's still there, but I want to finish this. Anyway, so I'm not crying. It's just, oh, I was sneezing and I can't seem to blow it out. So I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden it just came on me. You could see it coming on me because my eyes were watering and stuff. Anyway, so I've been dealing with all this and then... um. About two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago. Yeah, they had a fundraiser for my daughter at the Hockey Association here in Grand Rapids. Um, they have a very strong hockey tradition here in Grand Rapids. Um, if you do not know, uh, Bill Baker from the 1980 Olympic hockey team is from Grand Rapids. And so I knew their family. And so this is kind of a big deal in Grand Rapids. So hockey is like king. They had a fundraiser for my daughter and they sent the whole family to Walt Disney World. I thought it was her doctor that did it, but it was actually her doctor who arranged the fundraiser. And so um, they they went to um, Disney World, but the Sunday of the fundraiser, 
I had gone to the fundraiser and didn't notice anything because we were outside. It was cold. We were at the outside rink. And when she, we got done, my daughter came over here to eat. And she notified us that she'd cut her hair off. And um, because she said it had started growing or started falling out that morning. So she contacted a friend of hers and they're going to make a wig out of it. Um, it's not going to be like a full wig. It's just a, actually just a band around the head. And then she'll have to wear like a hat or a beanie or something. But it'll be her own hair. And so I, I think it just threw me for a loop um, on, sun, on that Sunday. And then they were gone for the whole week. And then they came back on Saturday. And then we didn't see them until Sunday of this last week. But by that time, I was already having symptoms of this nerve thing. So the doctor determined that I probably should, I had, you remember I talked about, maybe I talked to you about taking and cutting out my vitamins because of the vitamin D thing. Well, I probably should have not done that the way I had done that. I probably shouldn't just cut cold turkey. Um, I, I literally had quit taking all of them. So I started taking them every other day. And then now I'm taking them every day again, but I'm not taking the extra D3 um, because that was causing, I think that's part of the reason I have ringing in my ears, other than the fact that I have ear problems, but it wasn't helping anyway. So um, anyway, so yes. And so he said, keep taking your magnesium, which is for your nerves and um, B12. So I'm doing that. And then I'm taking one of my multivitamins instead of two. Because all of my levels have been so totally normal, I do not need to take two. I'm, I'm evidently eating well. Um, all of my levels were perfect. So um, I'm not, I don't need that extra vitamin. And um, sorry, I've got stuff in my nose now. Um, but anyway, uh, so um, I've just started taking, so I'm taking my B12. I'm taking my biotin, which I, I quit taking the chewables. I'm going to get away from chewables because there's sugar in there. And um, even though it's a little bit of sugar and carbs, I, I just don't think I should be taking it. So I'm, I got bi biotin and I'm taking a um, uh, probiotic, which um, I've had to take because my stomach gets so upset in the morning when I eat if I don't take a probiotic. And then I'm taking magnesium, vitamin E. And then um, of multivitamin, vitamin, and I just started. I'm just start. Oh, and then I'm going to start taking berberine. Um, I had heard berberine was a natural form of metformin, and they had wanted to put me on metformin. And I said, no, I don't want to be on a prescription drug. So I'm going to take the natural form and see if that helps with my weight loss a little bit because they said that that can um, help with weight loss. Um, and so, and then what was the other one I just bought yesterday? Um, anyway, there was one more anyway, so I'm just going to start taking those and I'm just going to be very general about it. Um, I, I haven't been taking any calcium, but my calcium levels are fine. So, and my bones are fine. So I don't have to worry about that so much. I am getting calcium in my foods. So, um, anyway, so that's what I've decided to do, but, um, I haven't weighed myself. I've been fluctuating right now between 155 and 159. So I'm just, I'm never, I haven't been moving. I'm just fluctuating in between there. So that's what's been going on. It is starting to warm up here in Minnesota. We've had 40 degree temperatures the last couple of days, which is kind of early for us. March is usually not a 40 degree kind of day uh, temperatures, but we usually get in the 30s. But it's kind of nice to have that break from, we had two days or two weeks straight of below below zero temperatures. I'm talking 15 to 25 to 30 below. In some areas, it got down to 40 below um, for a couple weeks. So that's kind of gone now. And so I'll be able to hopefully get out and walk some more. Yesterday, I went to the grocery store and got groceries for the first time in four weeks. And, um, and then I had a couple other errands to run. And so I came back and I was tired because I literally been sitting here doing nothing for all, all winter. So I'm going to have to do this gradually and um, and gradually get out there and start walking and getting exercise. So that is the plan. But once again, I do not want you to not hear this because I totally was overwhelmed by the love and prayers that were sent my way and my family's ways. And Lisa, that was one of the most beautiful things I've ever had anybody do for me. And I will never forget it. And I thank you all so much for taking the time out to like my channel, subscribe to my channel, um, and even watch some of my old videos. Um, they're pretty boring. <laughs> I'm not an exciting kind of, kind of a person, but um, they're pretty boring. So um, 
I really, really appreciate that. And I will try to um, try to post more videos if, I mean, I don't want to disappoint my followers now. I mean, I think it just encouraged me to maybe if I were talking to you, I wouldn't feel so isolated here, even if I am staying home. Um, I probably won't be getting the shot until June, May or June, if I get it. Um, and so I still am going to be staying here at home or, you know, just out here. I, I literally, that's why I didn't go to the grocery store for four weeks because I just don't want to go out. And then when I do go out, I go out and I get everything done at one day and then I come home and I stay. So, um, but I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. And it means the world to me. I'm pretty much alone here. And so to have these people, um, do this for me was just unbelievable so i want to thank you all and uh thank you lisa i really really appreciate it i love you all and you have a great spring coming up i'm sure some of you are already warmer than i am but um keep at it and if you have any questions write them in the comments below and if you have any comments, write them in the comments below, and um, I will try to answer your questions and respond to your comments. Thank you very much. I love you all. Bye.